So where do these different uh, lenses come from? What's the origin of them? And uh, this is an interesting topic. A lot of folks get kind of patriotic when they're uh, doing their scope shopping, and they want to make sure that they're buying scopes that are American-made. And American-made stuff generally does have pretty good uh, quality, but as I'm sure most of you probably realize, that even if you buy something that is uh, American-made, you know, like an American company, like if you buy like a Ford car or something, or if you buy a Chevy down at the dealership, uh, a lot of that stuff is actually made in Asia, shipped over, and then assembled in America. And a lot of that stuff is not actually made in America anymore. Um, it's just that we've lost a lot of our manufacturing base. And uh, so that's just the way it works. Even though it might be an American brand name doesn't necessarily mean it's actually made in America. And um, it's kind of the job of advertisers a lot of times to cover that fact up because they know people do prefer, especially Americans, you know, uh, those of us in America here, we prefer to buy stuff made in America. So advertisers will try to kind of almost twist it a little bit sometimes and uh, try to make it seem like their stuff is made in America. Um, growing up and uh, doing a lot of hunting and stuff and, you know, you talk to a lot of different deer hunters and elk hunters, a lot of guys are very, very uh, motivated to buy certain brands because they seem like they're fulfilling their patriotic duty kind of. And uh, it's interesting because of all these different scope manufacturers, hardly any of them want to admit the truth. And I'll just tell you the truth straight out here. Pretty much there's no such thing as American-made lenses anymore. Uh, that's a thing of the past. Uh, we've lost our manufacturing base on lenses. Most scope companies in the world outsource uh, their lenses. They have Asia build them. Most of the stuff's made in China now. Uh, Philippines, uh, Japan for some of the real good quality stuff. But uh, there's only like one proprietary uh, optics manufacturer I can even think of that actually attempts to make their own glass in America. It's just uh, too expensive to, to build it in America, I guess. They just didn't, they thought they could save money or make more money if they outsourced to China. Now, the good news is really that the uh, uh, technology has advanced to the point to where even China can make pretty good quality glass uh, because most of this being done on the computer and it's all being done by machines. So it kind of depends on uh, which exact factory over in China or Taiwan or wherever you're looking at is, uh, you know, how, how close their quality control is, how strict, uh, you know, they, uh, how, how, what kind of tolerances they got going on. And, and a lot of it goes into the polishing. And uh, some of the American companies do kind of do their own custom uh, lens designs and stuff like that. And they send over the specifications to these Asian contractors and they build them uh, and then uh, they they get them back to the to the specifications in which they've designed. So you got to watch the advertising very closely. As they designed in America, well, that's true, but it wasn't made here. And uh, what generally happens, and this doesn't really matter what brand name you're looking at, but for the most part, this stuff is made in Asia, okay? And uh, these parts, and the, particularly the lenses, are all made in various factories. And any given scope uh, company whether it be a Leopold or Barska or any of these, uh, you know, all, all, the, all your favorite American scope companies even, they kind of contract out to these Asian companies and whoever makes the best deal that month kind of gets to sell their lenses to these companies. And uh, it's interesting because Leopold was actually one of the only companies I could find that was honest about this. And I'm going to read you something here because you might be thinking I'm full of it right now. But uh, this is from uh, www.leopold.com about us, American Optics Authority. This is straight from their own website, and I'm just going to read it verbatim. I'll post it up here, too. Leopold uses foreign source components for some parts of the Golden Ring products, primarily lenses. This is because at this time, there is no American manufacturer that can supply the quantity of high-quality lenses that Leopold needs for its annual Golden Ring Optics production. Leopold's lens systems are designed at Leopold by American optical engineers in its state-of-the-art uh, state optics lab and then procured 
from outside vendors who must meet stringent quality standards. Incoming parts are carefully inspected in our testing facility before they are accepted into the assembly process. Incidentally, all major optics producers worldwide acquire some or all of their glass from the same sources as Leopold. Some of these sources are located domestically. Some are European and some are Asian. Uh, Leopold has acquired its lenses this way for over 50 years. Okay, that's straight from straight from Leopold. And uh, there's basically, you can highlight the Asian part because that's just the fact of where these optics factories are. Very rarely are they going to be European glass or uh, or from anywhere else. So I, I was qu quite impressed. Leopold was quite honest about it, and they just put it right out there. So I think there's a lot of rumors going around. Oh, Leopold's are Chinese glass. Leopold's like, well, yeah, you know, pretty much everyone uses the same glass we do. So uh, there's been some interesting topics that have come up. A lot of guys, when they're arguing about scopes, like we talked about before, uh, our, our primary criteria is going for our purposes is actually the turrets and the erector assembly and the tracking. But a lot of hunters and stuff are uh, very, very concerned with optical quality. And uh, the idea has been that, you know, if you don't buy a Leopold, if, if you get a Tasco or something, that, oh, man, Tasco's glass is not as good as Leopold's. It's not made by Leopold. And that's not how it works. The Tasco glass and Leopold glass could very well have come from the exact same factory. Uh, so this stuff is all made in various plants in Asia. And what they do is they make this huge pile of lenses over in Asia and they go through and Leopold kind of picks through the pile of those lenses, you know, and uh, they pick out for uh, their different price ranges. Okay, this lens meets this set of specifications. This is good enough for our Golden Ring series. So they take them and they put them in there. Another company might come to that same pile of lenses and sort through it and say, okay, this uh, lens is good for Tasco or this one is good for NC Star or whatever scope company you're talking about. So a lot of the crit criticisms of some of these optics, like a lot of guys really don't like the SWFA scope because uh, they've heard that, oh man, Tasco was the company that was in charge of putting that thing together. So therefore, it's a Tasco scope. Everyone knows that Tasco has terrible, terrible quality lenses. And so one of these other uh, higher quality scope manufacturers would be better. And the funny thing is they're all from the same place. And that's just the brutal truth. I don't know how else to put it. Now, uh, there are, like I said, there is, there is uh, some other places that do make glass. Some of it, some of the European glass is actually made in Europe, which is kind of, it, it's funny because a lot of the European glass, there are certain European uh, manufacturers that uh, really play it like, yep, this is um, made in Germany or whatever, and uh, it's not. It's uh, actually the lenses were made in Taiwan, and you bought them and inspected them, and then you assembled them in Europe. So uh, that's just kind of how this goes. It changes from month to month, so trying to keep track of who makes what is like almost impossible nowadays. There are a couple companies that do have really, really, they, they do pretty much everything in-house. Uh, one of them is uh, U.S. Optics. And that's actually the only scope manufacturer I can think of where pretty much everything is made in the United States. And I'm pretty sure that they actually do make their lenses here. Um, so that's the one. If you want an American-made scope, a truly American-made scope, U.S. Optics is the one to go for. And that's a Tier 1 scope. There's not really anything better than that. Uh, Schmidt & Bender would be equal with U.S. Optics. In a lot of terms, Schmidt and Benner glass does seem to be maybe a tiny bit more clear than uh, U.S. optics. Schmidt and Benner is a G German glass, and that's actually uh, made in Germany. They're one of the German uh, scope companies that I know uh, they do make their glass there. Uh, they do have a plant in Budapest. And uh, if you're looking for the, the highest quality glass possible, uh, Schmidt and Bender's pretty much right on the pinnacle there. U.S. Optics, very close. Uh, U.S. Optics and Schmidt & Bender are pretty much, uh, they, they tie overall. Uh, they, they do have different things. Schmidt & Bender might, uh, uh, U.S. Optics might be a little more rugged than Schmidt & Bender, but they're pretty close. They're, they're hard to compare. Another real, real high quality uh, glass that you'll find 
is uh, Night Force. It's not as good as uh, U.S. Optics or Schmidt & Bender, but uh, Night Force does use Japanese glass, which is actually pretty good stuff. Uh, and again, it's quality control. They sort through the pile and find out uh, which glass that they uh, <laughs> that's going to be suitable for, for their scopes. And uh, Night Force glass is really good, actually. So uh, another one made in Japan. I think a lot of Nikon scopes are made are Jap use Japanese glass. And like I said before, I mean they outsource to the highest bidder. So I mean, there's no like real straight answer a guy can really give because, like I said, it changes all the time. But I do believe a lot of oh Nikon God. stuff is usually made in Japan. Uh, IOR Valdata. That's a, that's a European scope company. That stuff, I believe, is European. But a lot of the other European scope companies are surprisingly, they outsource to China and, uh, and these other uh, Asian Pacific Rim places and stuff like this for their glass. So they're just as guilty as anyone else. But there are those two companies on the very top that I mentioned that actually do have very, very strict uh, control over their products in every step of manufacture. That's U.S. Optics and Schmidt and & Benders right on the top. And like uh, pretty much all your other stuff, only God knows where it came from. Uh, but uh, it's the different companies' uh, ability to sort through the pile and pick out the stuff and do their own quality control. So when we're examining the uh, and comparing the optical clarity of these different manufacturers, you need to keep that in mind. That it basically has to do with quality control and not so much origin of where these lenses came from because nobody really knows the origin on pretty much most of these uh, uh, scope companies. Eight nine zero. Confirm. Good call. Yeah. 